Hello fellow YouTubers and fellow experimenters and fellow builders. I've always been fascinated by marble machines. If you don't know what a marble machine is, if you've never seen one, it's a kind of a homemade toy designed and built by people, usually in their garages. Uh, what it does is raise marbles to a certain predetermined height, usually a few inches, and then the marble is placed on a roller coaster type track where gravity takes over. The marble zooms downhill making twists and turns, sometimes complete loops, maybe goes through a spiral, and ultimately ends up at the bottom of the machine where it is redirected to the lifting device, where it is lifted to the beginning of the track and the whole process starts over. Many marbles can be making this track at the same time. Now, if you do a YouTube search for marble machine, you will see many, many wonderful marble devices. Some of them are works of art, some are mechanical marbles, and some are both. These things are meticulously made. The tracks are made from two individual pieces of wire, which are held apart a specific distance by soldering in cross ties. Now, making a track like this requires a lot of skill and a lot of patience that frankly I don't have. But still I wanted to make my own version of a marble machine. So I had to find something to use for the track that was ready made, something off the shelf to simplify construction. And sure enough Home Depot came to the rescue again. Here's what I found. This is an aluminum channel material I found at Home Depot. It comes in lengths of 8 feet and I cut it up as needed. And as you can see, it makes a very good track to roll a marble. No problem. The only trouble with this kind of track is it cannot make curves, it cannot make bends, certainly can't make a loop. So I had to devise a way for my marble to make abrupt right angle turns, which was not easy. Marbles usually would fly off the track and end up somewhere in the shop on the floor where I couldn't find them. So after a little experimentation, I found a way to make my marble make an extreme right angle turn, as you will see in a minute. Well, let's take a look at my version of a marble machine. Here's my version of the marble machine. It is unique in two ways. Number one, it's industrial strength. It's absolutely indestructible by kids. It will last forever. And number two is the unique metal clattering sound it makes when it is operating. If you didn't know what you were listening to, you might think a freight train was rumbling through your living room. And kids love noise. Well, let's fire it up and you can see what I mean. So that's my industrial strength marble machine. You'll never see another one like it. One problem I ran into was how to make the pulley drive belts so the motor can turn my lifting wheel. Well, I tried string, rubber bands, any shoelaces, anything I could find, and I finally ended up by using Petco airline tubing. This is regular aquarium airline tubing you can buy almost anywhere. It uh, produces enough friction against the pulley wheels. It's a little bit stretchable and it can easily be joined into any length. And the joint is permanent and almost seamless. And I'll show you how I make the joint. It's kind of clever. Here's how I made a very efficient drive belt for my pulleys. I found a piece of aquarium airline tubing, cut it to the proper length, and then I looked around to find a matchstick a bolt, a piece of nail, anything that could be slipped inside, press fit. 
Actually, this is a piece of chopstick. So what you do is take your super glue, put a drop here, and then you press the tubing on that end of the stick. And then a drop of super glue on the other end of the stick. Press your tubing on, and in a minute you have an almost seamless, very efficient weld, very strong, does the job beautifully. And here you see the drive mechanism. First I have a 24 volt DC motor, which is hooked into a gear reduction box, which turns my first pulley. My first pulley operates my marble raising wheel, which is 11 and a half inches in diameter and has 16 holes for the marble. My pulley drive belt, of course, is made out of aquarium air hose line. The motor is mounted to a hinged board, which is spring-loaded, and this maintains proper tension on my drive belt, and the whole thing works beautifully. And so you have my version of a marble machine. It's certainly not very elegant, but it is industrial strength, and you have to admit it makes a very interesting noise when running. It was a lot of fun to build. Well, that's all for today. I'll see you next time, and thank you for listening.